All right, welcome back. So the title of this video should be do the opposite of what I do and you should do just fine. And it seems to be the story of my life. Uh, it's like, um, it should be like George on Seinfeld. Do the opposite of what I think and I might do really well. Anyway, we have Bitcoin back down in a $59,000 range. I don't know what's going on. I thought the consolidation phase was over. I thought all the money flowing into the ETFs would help. And I know the Mount Gox thing is out there hovering over everyone's head where they recovered all this Bitcoin and will dump it back on the market. Most of these fools who use Mt. Gox will um, probably hold their Bitcoin. The smart ones will probably dump it. Uh, yeah, I don't know how it's going to affect the Bitcoin miners or Bitcoin price. Well, obviously Bitcoin's going down. I don't know what's going on. I thought we were on the trajectory to go above 70. Boy, I read that one wrong. And I read a lot wrong. So uh, anyway, that's where we're at with Bitcoin. Nothing, nothing surprising there. Again, hold long term, right? Who knows what's going to happen? Again, a few months ago, it was 24000 bucks. So you got to look at it that way as well. Now we got a little green candle coming up. Uh, let's look at some of the derivatives. We have the Wolf Miner. I've been buying, selling, buying, selling this, this, this not turd. It's a good stock. What am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't mean turd. I'm thinking Tesla, who uh, upset me today and yesterday. <laughs> anyway, Wolf is a crypto miner. Very proud of this guy. It's uh, I, When it shoots up, I sell and I set my sell orders. And what has really helped me though with this stock is I buy what I buy, right? And usually after I buy it, it always corrects. And I'm sitting there for weeks going, oh my God, I'm down. I'm down 20%, blah, blah, blah. It's just the story of my investment life. Uh, secret is long term sometimes. Hold, hold. Don't look at this crap every day. Set your sell limit. Set your trade already. Uh, I set a limit order, say, on this one. I, I bought back in. I made a, f a few bucks last time, about 18%. Then it corrected back down. Bought in, but I bought in high. I bought in like at this price at 517. Stupid, 520. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. FOMO kicked in. I thought it was going to keep going because there was a lot of news being being published out there. I said, oh my God, this is getting a lot of traction. Oh, a lot of analysts' eyeballs on it. No, I kind of went back down to 490. <laughs> you just don't know. I think dollar cost averaging may be the way to go sometimes. And you do it over weeks and then it minimizes your stress. So here we are. What I was going to say is set your sell orders. Like you bought it at five bucks, man. Set your price what you want to make and say, I'm going to sell at six, you know, and then you set and forget. Because uh, I'm going to show you in this next one what I should have done is I was trying to break even on EPD, which is an energy partner gas distributor. And look at that. I actually had my sell order at 2940. And the little guy, look at that. 29.30, four cents away. I was four cents away from making a few bucks. And then it kind of comes, tags back down. I went, ah, oh, you just don't know, man. But again, I'm glad I said that because I was really close. And if I would have just a couple cents less, I would have came out with a few bucks ahead. Now I'm probably back to breaking even right here, you know, or less. I think, oh, I'm probably less. It's 29. Yeah. Again, these candles will spike up during the day while you're out doing your life, living your life. And you can't sit here staring at it. And I came back this morning and went, oh my God, it shot up tonight. No, it didn't sell. But anyway, set those limits. It'll make your life so much easier. Will you hit the all-time high of that day? And I don't know. Who cares? You'll make some money and you won't be crying about, oh my God, now I get away. We got July 4th. Then we got one day. We got the weekend. Will this ever come back? It freaks you out. You can't look at this day to day. Set your buy. Set your sales. And uh, yeah, just sit back. It's, uh, otherwise, you go crazy like me. Oh, what's the other one? Crash and miss the year down. This one pays a huge dividend, but again, you're losing net asset value as well. And I don't know why there's this green volume bar here. What is that about? That is weird. Why is that? A lot of volume buying after hours, post 2720. Again, you pay, this pays a huge dividend of 179. Yeah, you read that right. But problem is you're losing net asset value. If you bought it up here, boom, your investment has decayed by the money you're going to make in the investment. So you got to plan that accordingly. Is it is the juice worth the squeeze? I don't know yet. I don't know. If this thing bounces back up to 30, 35, yeah, then the juice is worth the squeeze because your investment is up as well as getting that juicy, juicy, McJuicy rib dividend. Right, right. And I do this in a, uh, what do you call it? 
retirement account, Roth account. There are tax implications with these high dividends, so read accordingly, research accordingly, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, so there's Misty. What was the other one? Oh, FBTC way down on this guy, too, because it's tied to Bitcoin. That's an ETF. I don't know, man. I'm not doing too good. And uh, to put as insult to injury, it was old Tesla. I swear this thing was going to zero, man. I swear te no one was buying Teslas, that things were stocking up in parking lots. I dumped it. Oh, my God. I, yeah, I took a loss at 30 40%. Thing, look at that. Thing shoots up. I have no idea why. They say the numbers are good. I, what? <laughs> I'm really confused. I think a lot of people are confused. And now Musk is out there taunting that uh, the creepy guy, the guy, the uh, eugenics guy who wants to you know, wipe out 5 billion people. What's that guy's name? The Microsoft guy? Oh, not Alan. Oh, Bill Gates, the creepy guy who wants to like make us all take force injections. But um, and then off the uh, species, right? But uh, he he's shorting Tesla, and then what's his name is uh, Musk is like quit shorting Tesla. You know, there's like a little billionaire uh, contest there to see who can destroy each other's stocks. I have no idea what's going on. This thing shot up two days in a row. I'm just like, what? Are you freaking kidding me? I just don't get it, man. I'm just I don't think I'm cut out for this crap. I think I'm just an index fund guy. <laughs> oh my god! So do the opposite of me. <laughs> and you might be all right. Don't sell your Tesla. Oh dear lord. Anyway, I'm trying to make fun of it because it's like it's play money. It's not in a way that it's my gambling money, small percentage of my portfolio. But oh, what an idiot. So now the hopes is that hopes is the hopes be the hibbity jibbity of it all, meaning that uh, the hope is that Misty comes back. And I was actually in this cr crash, which is the opposite inversion of Tesla. So that's how I just, oh, I just not doing good this week, this month. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, but again, the one I'm doing well with is Wolfie, the Wolfster. I almost did well with EPD by making a few bucks with my sell, lim my sell order. Ah, uh, four cents away. Now look, it just comes back. It just shows you how the day can swing. I'm just getting, oh my God, it was up here. Now look, post market down. Uh, anyway, that's where we're at today. I don't know what you guys are doing. The, we are on the precipice, 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 English hard. We are on the precipice of this economy totally collapsing. Uh, we had the debates, which were amazingly interesting, scary, that uh, these potato heads are running the country. Uh, it's not looking good, man. I think the, uh, the someone's propping up the economy, the Fed or whoever. I have no idea. I don't know when they're going to let the rug fall, pull the rug out, unless this whole thing just nosedive. It's going to be bad. So that's why I wanted to get my EPD done, start getting back as much into cash as I can. I want to see how these high dividends pay. And if I, make, if I break even on these, I might just get out of them. Consider it a lesson learned, meaning that net asset value was down in relation to what I made in dividends. So it's just like, it's a wash, get out. It's not, it's not, it's, I'm, give me, I'm looking at 5% and a money market as being very good, at, you know, foreseeing what is gonna happen. But again, do the opposite of me, the market can keep going up. You just don't know, man. Uh, but again, layoffs are huge, jobs are, uh, no one's, uh, people are letting their credit card debt default, car payments default. They call car mortgages because cars are stupidly expensive. No one's buying cars. Car dealerships were hacked. They can't even sell cars because they're all tied to this piece of crap software. Uh, that's on them. They should have always a paper backup, ba a bit of a paper backup. But yeah, whatever. The economy's not looking good, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, that's all I got for this one. Short video, just a state of the union for my uh, horrible investments. Uh, but what goes up must come down, and what goes down, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we'll go up. I don't know, man. All right. What are you guys up to, man? I really got to get more in the cash. And that's why I was hoping I have an EPD, which I'm hovering at a couple pennies of loss right now. But again, I was up and that stupid thing did not hit. And that drives me nuts. Uh, and then I have another energy. Uh, how did the how did the other energy do? Ah, 40 cents. I need that. To do, I need this to go up to 94 to hit my sell order to get out of this one. I just want to go to cash, man. I'm getting nervous. And I'll let the, let the crypto crap f uh, fluctuate because that is the high risk game. I don't need to be exposed to some of this other crap like I am. Uh, let me show you this. Where was this other page? Dun, dun, dun. What is the index fund? Yeah, I think this is updated. It just shows you, look, even my little index fund, because Tesla is in the index fund. It went up. 
So in a way, I did win because Tesla went up. It caused my index 500 fund to go up. Uh, this might be last night's reporting. It does take a while to report at the end of the day. And the market closed early today, I think, at 1,400 hours uh, Eastern time, right? 2 o'clock Eastern time in the afternoon. So they could go out to the Hamptons and spend all the money they're making. Yeah. Bitcoin 59.7. Oh, boy. These two together are just red, not making me happy. Oh, uh, boy. What a day, man. What a day. All right. I'm out. That's all I got. Ooh, Tesla, man. Freaking Tesla. I totally read that one wrong. All right. I'm out. See you in the next one. Boom, boom, boom.